First transition workflow on the docket is upgrading an ArcMap parcel fabric. We start by opening a project in ArcGIS Pro. In this particular project, I have a map tab in which I have added the source data from my ArcMap parcel fabric. I must note that the ArcMap parcel fabric can be viewed in ArcGIS Pro, but not edited. Also, adding the source data here in this project is optional, but I thought I would take advantage of the ability and convenience to have multiple maps in an ArcGIS Pro project. In the, uh, in the catalog pane on the right is where we can create a parcel editing data set in our project geodatabase, in which I've, I've already done that ahead of time. Here's where you'll, you'll give your data set a name and choose the correct coordinate system. The next step is to run the upgrade ArcMap parcel fabric tool. The parameters for this tool are uh, choosing the ArcMap parcel fabric from the dropdown which is now easily accessible because I've added that to a map tab in the project. The newly created target feature data set and a name for the upgraded parcel fabric. But I'm not going to click run here because in this case, I've done, I've done that ahead of time. With this uh, particular uh, parcel fabric, there are over 56,000 tax parcels plus other layers such as lots, subdivisions, cadastral framework. And it took nearly an hour for this tool to run to upgrade the ArcMap parcel fabric. So just keep that in mind. So the next step is to add the upgraded parcel fabric to a new map. So back in catalog, we can expand our data set and it shows us our parcel fabric with all of the feature classes and relationship classes. So we would right click on that fabric and add it to a current map or a new map. So back in our map tab for the upgraded pro parcel fabric, let's take a look at how the layers in this parcel fabric are structured. Layers are grouped together by parcel type with polygon and line feature classes. For example, in the tax parcels feature class, we look at the attribute table, we can see attributes that were transferred over from the ArcMap parcel fabric. Also, there is a tax lines feature class. We look at the attributes. Here's where we can see our, our direction and distance, the characteristics of the lines that make up the parcel fabric. I also would like to show you the records feature class and the attributes. The records feature class was created with the subdivision names and then also an attribute for how many parcels are associated with each record 